Man, I can't believe me and Whitney are getting married today. How awesome is this? Hey, Caillou, can I come to your wedding? Y'all ain't going nowhere! Go sit your ass down! Who's that? Sit down! <laughs> yeah, Ricky, my dad is right. You ain't going nowhere because last time I took you somewhere, I took you to Whitney's house and you put chocolate all over her dad's bathroom and... Her dad wasn't happy about it. Oh, don't worry, Caillou. I'm gonna get my revenge. Ha 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 ha. You'll never see the last of me. Ha 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 ha. Well, I'm gonna go mess with Whitney's dad as revenge. Ha 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 ha. Oh my god. Hey, it's you. You're the guy that crapped up my house. What are you? You're covered in shit. What are you? My car is covered in shit. There's shit everywhere. Hey, come back here. I'm not cleaning this up. I'm going to have to have this towed. Come back here. Are you out of your minds? What is it with you and fecal matter? Hey, Jason. Man, I'm glad you're the best man for mine and Whitney's wedding. And that's how Justin wanted it. He insisted it had to be that way. Oh, wow. He actually insisted? <laughs> Did you mean what you said about it being an uncompromising work of art? Yeah, yeah. Well, come on, family and Jason, we got a wedding to go to. Meanwhile, at the wedding, Hey, Whitney, you look beautiful today. I can't wait till you and me get married. Ah, uh, Whitney Anderson. Ah, uh, Mrs. Caillou Anderson. How awesome is this? Sacrifice and let you go with Mike. Whitney, all my life I always thought about you, and you're a very pretty girl. I mean, me and you have been boyfriend and girlfriend since we met. I met you in 2002, December 25th, and me and you got engaged, and then after that, we got married. So, now, we're going to have the rest of our lives... And I can't wait for us to graduate. Thank you for my smoothie. You're welcome. I can't believe you drank that smoothie that quickly. Okay, everyone. I will be the pastor for today's wedding. So, Kaylee, do you take Whitney to be your lawfully wedded wife? I do. And how about you, Whitney? Do you take Kaylee to be your lawfully wedded husband? All right, now you may kiss. Don't think it's going to be so easy to get me all emotional over some little object that shoots me down memory lane. Okay, Whitney, since you and me are now married, I got a song that I'm going to sing to you. This you sat with me in the hospital when I got my tonsils out. I lost her and never had the heart to tell you. How did you know? I hope you like this song, Whitney. I worked really hard on it for you. This is completely unfair! <laughs> Ignore that big bird! It is me, Sam Cashews. What a leak it has been, right, Yana? Somebody has some saints trite. Any day, Lincoln may have lost his boogies, but certainly one of our times. Well, me and Whitney are going to our honeymoon. Goodbye, guys. See you later. See you in next week.
No, it's not that. It's, it's just that I'm not finished reading it. But as soon as I do... Great, Em. I'm very happy for you. Yeah, it's been great. I finished his book three days ago. But I told him I'm still reading it. Oh my god. That's a big book. He wants me to be honest. To tell him what I really think. Makes sense. It was kind of boring. Then I finished your book, and you made some really interesting choices. <clears throat> then I finished your book, and even though it's a little long in places, I'm sure that with some editing, um, it's a great read, especially if you're having trouble sleeping. Then I finished your book, Right. Ben, finished your book. And, uh, I loved it. Wow, I may have to take a look at it sometime. I never said that. I said I fell asleep. Well, uh, it was late. I was tired. I was honest. <laughs> now, come on, let's get out of here.